What if I content in contenting back? <laughs> and we're back with another cooking video. So today we're doing, um, I think we've done this one before on the channel, but we added chicken to it. It was a little different. The recipe had different ingredients. This one we're just doing, uh, it's just going to be a pota creamy potato soup. So we got some two pound bag of Southern style hash browns. It's plugged in, be careful. A uh, thing of chicken broth. Mm -hmm. Cream of chicken soup. Where's the uh, heavy whipping cream? Two blocks of cream cheese. A couple bags of extra sharp cheddar. Real bacon pieces. Making it easy. Did I say the cream of chicken soup? Cream of chicken soup. Green onions for uh, garnish. Two. This is what makes the dish, fellers and fellas. Two packets of ranch dry seasoning. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything loaded up in here, and uh, we're going to set it and forget it, you know. Get everything going in the crock pot. Says, recipe says, high for four hours. <laughs> Hoopla. We're going high, and well, we're not going high. Yesterday was 420, but we're not going high, but crock pot's going on high, and I'm fairly certain. I mean, these are small. They're going to cook down fast, or... Warm up fast, if you will. So I highly, highly doubt it's going to take four hours. Stay by. Alrighty then. Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pound bag of the taters. In the crew pot. Yes, I need the whipping cream, please. Um, the cheddar cheese. Sure, why not? We like cheese. Uh, heavy whipping cream. Yep, sure. We're gonna do half of this. And then after it, everything cooks in, we'll see where we're at. We might add a little bit more. Sure, why not? Chicken broth, we're gonna do half of this. Same, half. Boop! Mm, a little more. Boop! Dry seasoning, ranch packets. Careful when you're opening this stuff, or it'll look like you're having a party for Pablo Escobar. Or Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Whoop. And two packets of dry ranch seasoning. Double boop. Okay. And the cream cheese. This stuff is so easy. This is why I love these dump meals. Or I'm calling them a dump meal. It's really not. I mean, I guess it is. I don't know. You dump everything in the crock pot and you let it do its thing. You don't do nothing else with it. Thank you. We'll need that. Mm. All right. Well, apparently I ran out of space on the SD card. And it stopped recording. So I will have to go back through and see where you guys left off. I added all the ingredients. There's cheese. There's two packets of ranch dressing. There's two 8-ounce blocks of cream cheese. There's half a jug of heavy whipping cream. There's half a jug of chicken broth. We're putting the second block of cream cheese in right meow. Oh, God, I hate this stuff. I love it, but I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship. Let's try to get this done. All set up and ready to go. We're going to go take the dog for a walk here in a minute at a beautiful park next uh, close by here. Um, it's at a medical facility, but it's they've got a beautiful bike path. I don't even know why I'm trying. Beautiful bike path. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, like always, mixy, mixy, mixy. So, ongoing debate in my household currently, you don't mix crock pot meals, but mixy, mixy, mixy is what we're doing. Mixy, mixy, mixy! 
because that is what the directions say to do. And then, after an hour or so, you're supposed to go back in and mix it more to make sure that the cream cheese is broken up. And you're going to smash all your potatoes in. Probably. Now, there's two ways of doing this, and I was going to get to it later. You can leave it just like this once it's done, or you can puree it. You can stick it in a blender, puree it so it's a creamy consistency. I tend to like this kind of, we've done this before with the creamy chicken and potato soup. We did the little round, small red potatoes, and we just diced them up, and we left them that way. It did go long enough that it, they did get kind of, um, what's the word, mushy, if you will. So it kind of mushed up and paraded itself, paraded it, parade, pureed. It got mushy on its own without having to stick it in the blender and puree it, or an emulsion um, mixer in the crock pot. So, any who's and way. This is going to make a ton, so you'll have plenty of leftovers throughout the week. And we're going to call that, well, no, we're not. Woo! Careful when you're tapping that off. We're going to add some black pepper, some garlic powder. Not too much black pepper now, because the wife don't like it. Oh, it's not that she don't like pepper, she just don't like spicy stuff. We're going to add black pepper. Now you can add green onions and bacon bits to this also. I'm not a big fan. I love bacon on BLTs. I love bacon with breakfast, but when it goes in something else, I always feel like bacon is too overpowering, just like bananas. It's all you can taste. And I, it's not that I don't like bacon, because I do, but I just I don't like it when it's overpowering. We're going to use the black pepper. We're going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there because who doesn't like garlic powder? Don't mix up and use onion powder if the wife don't like onions because she'll be mad at you. And that's that. We're going to put the lid on it and we're going to let it do its thing. We'll follow up in an hour or two. All right. So in closing, it's done. And it is... It looks phenomenal. So... We're going to do a little taste test here. A guy, I did end up using the rest of the chicken broth and the rest of the um, heavy whipping cream. Uh, mm, that is good. Super cheesy. The potatoes are good. Now, what I think because I kind of doubled the recipe and everything but the potatoes, which I, I'm realizing now I should have doubled the potatoes too. So two two-pound bags if you're going to use the full, um, full jug of chicken broth and the full jug of the big jug of the heavy whipping cream. Um, we're going to get this plated up, bowled up, whatever you want to call it here. Heavy. Sure, why not? I got some green onions for garnish. Ooh, yeah, baby. This looks good. Two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Um, a one pound bag of cheddar cheese in here. There's the big can of um, condensed cream of chicken soup. Um, Two pound bag of cubed potatoes, breakfast potatoes, hash browns, whatever you want to call them. God, that is good. So, what we're going to do here, I'm not, like I said earlier, not a big fan of the bacon on uh, other stuff. So, we're going to put a little more cheese, a little more shredded cheddar, extra sharp variety on top here. Let's bring you guys in on this, huh? Whoop. 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 Perfect. So we got the extra cheddar. We got a little bit of green onion. And we're going to tag it with some more black pepper. Green onions. If you got dogs in the house, make sure you do not let them get any of those. And we're going to tag it with some more black pepper. And that's my black pepper.
This is probably where I should just put that little clip from SpongeBob in. Three hours later with the black pepper, but I won't. All right. Bring it back up to full size here. Moses sandals. How'd it go wide angle on me? Good Lord Almighty, do I know what I'm doing here? Nope. <laughs> Need a spoon. Find China out tonight. Plastic. All right. As always, first taste with you guys. Get everything mixed in there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Mm. That's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Who that's hot? Mm -hmm. And we're sitting right about the three hour mark. See, told you. Instruction said four hours in the crock pot on high. We did it in three. I'm a rebel. Nah, whatever. Anywho, as always, ingredients and directions will be in the description below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We sure do appreciate it. There'll be some racing videos coming up here directly. Check out my shorts. We did some stuff over the weekend. Got a truck for sale. Check that out if you're interested. Big, bad truck. Anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, we appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one.